does. How do you get them so full? Because like I've done it where I've started carving four or five days out and I've carved really early and then pulled it back, you know, when you need to. But I mean, how how do you do it? How do you manage it? Well, you see, uh, this is how it is. Yeah. And I am guilty of overspilling some people. Yes, I am guilty of. But you see, if you go for a safe thing, Mm. you you don't want to compromise anything. Mm. You can be there. 50, 60, 70 percent, and you are happy because you might look phenomenal. You have, might look for other people, you look phenomenal, mm. but in reality, that's maybe only 50, 60, 70 percent of your uh, ma- maximally glycogen load itself. Yeah. Okay. So then I experience, I've seen the guys when they look like 90 percent, oh my God, you know, th- this is a shocker. So I want to bring that on the stage. So a few times I tried to bring that on the stage. And for some people, you know, that the full look changes their physique. I mean, I, I'm going to tell you. Well, Dennis completely transformed that. He went from being like a sort of a, a, a good pro to an um, to like literally should have beat Roddy Coleman that year. Yeah, but you see, uh, when we, 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 this, this is also very important. Many, many, and uh, this came from uh, father of bodybuilding himself, Joe Weider. Yeah. 1994, I, I don't know if I told you that story. I was super ripped, sliced and diced and dry as a bone at Olympia. Like my best position ever, but I placed 13. Mm. I go to Europe, I load up everything. I beat Porter Cottrell in every show, mm-hmm. and he was top five, and I wasn't That's in right. every show in Europe. And then I got to photo shoot with the with the uh, Joe Weider, okay. Mm-hmm. And as soon as he saw me, my loss. Why didn't you look like this at Olympia? <laughs> you <put me> top- <laughs> Did you? And and really, and and I'm saying. What the hell is he talking yeah, about? Milos, are you, sorry, Milos, sorry to interrupt, but are you doing that with clean food? Yeah, clean, clean food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't believe in junk food. Did it ever work? Have you ever junk, have you ever junk loaded and did it ever work? Uh, I, I did junk, junk loaded and sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. Yeah. But uh, just to, to finish my point on this sorry. one, uh, I didn't really think that uh, Joe Wither knows what he's talking about. Like, uh, okay, he's old. He's senile and he doesn't see very well. But then I seen the Polaroid yeah, yeah. of the picture. Oh my God. And then I look. Yeah, I was maybe not as conditioned as uh, uh, at Olympia. Yeah. But this size made me look so much better. I would give to this guy victory over that guy. So that's how my uh, perception changed. Uh, some guys like, okay, Hiratari Amagishi, perfect example. Mm. When he, he's fuller, he looks way more aesthetic and... Uh, and more uh, comparable. He does. You know, he does. Me. Like his, like his everything. Look, his triceps, his, his quads, his yeah, everything pops yes. more. And yeah, you're right. You're right. I, I agree with you. I so agree with you. This is what I'm talking <clears throat> about. Yeah. For for some people, yeah, you can go uh, a little bit uh, on the drier side. It's better. Don't risk it. Uh, some guys maybe have bloated stomach, so you can't really uh, load them up. Uh, you know, definitely. But uh, as you're asking, clean food or junk food? Okay, whoever is saying there is some science behind the you know junk food. They're full of shit. There's no science. You can get the inflammation yeah. from uh, Adam, some bullshit that you're going to eat that you don't even know. But, you know, people usually fill up and say, oh, it looks so great. And what did it do? The, your fries did it? Or uh, <laughs> ice cream that you have it? Or a cheesecake? Or what do you think? M- Milos, I, 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 d- I did it once. I did it in, say, five times when I competed. And it only worked. It worked beautifully once, once. maybe twi- twice. Twice, you know, with because I made sure I took no fluid in the night before. And it did, and then the ho- other three times, it just, well, four times, it went horribly, horribly wrong. Horribly yes, wrong. Like 12 weeks of prep went, over, went overnight, it, literally in an hour. Because hours. you don't really know what you're doing. You're just gambling. Yeah, you panic. I mean, you uh, panic. Most, most, you of panic. The guys, most of the guys are going to tell you, yeah, the day after the show, it looks so much better. I, I ate anything and everything. Yeah, they relaxed, they rehydrated, you know, and, and it could happen, yes. Hmm. But uh, if I want, uh, hold on a second. If I want to, fully loaded glycogen. What is glycogen? Glycogen is glucose. Do I need a goddamn uh, fried uh, uh, French fries and fried something? Mm. And, uh, you know, some kind of oil they're going to put on this uh, junk food you're going to be eating? Or I want a clean food. I want my clean protein, my clean carbohydrates, and a little bit of good fats. Why would I need super saturated, oily, goddamn... Yeah, but uh, sometimes, uh, yeah, but sometimes it's more concentrated. Like you t- you said to me once, you had Dennis Wolf on, what, 1,500 gram of carbs over two days. That's a lot of clean yeah. carbs. I mean, if you put something that was high calorie dense or like nutrient dense, it would... The, it, it's, con- uh, like, it's, it's more concentrated. 
do you, do you see what I mean? Do you see what I'm getting at? Yes. Okay, of course. Look, this is, uh, you know, what I'm saying to, to my guys. Okay, right now my training partner is also uh, dieting. So when I'm limited with carbs, okay, I want volume. So 100 okay. grams of uh, uh, rice, uh, dry rice is 78 grams of carbs. Yeah. 100 grams of dry potato is 18 okay. grams of carbs. Yeah. Okay, so would I like to have um, 100 grams of rice that I'm going to cook? It's going to look like nothing, maybe 300 cooked, okay? Uh, or I want to have a 500 grams of potato that is going to be like this much food. Mm -hmm. I would have my potato. So I would have a, a more volumizing, more satisfying mm -hmm. uh, carbohydrate choice. Mm -hmm. But then if I want to have a 200 grams of carbs, Okay, and uh, I don't want to blow up my stomach. I'm going to look for something dense. Mm. Yes, yeah, so you can have a cream of rice. There is a, I, told, I think I told you last time there is that mochi thing in, uh, in uh, Japan. I mean, it's like a dessert is uh, uh, the sweet beans and, and rice. Mm -hmm. And like a small little thing like this is like 50 grams of carbs. You can have like four of those that you don't even feel it. Boom, 200 grams of carbs. You have it. Clean. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Clean, clean. Wow. Clean, yeah. Okay. So th okay. this is... Uh, this is how, I, but uh, look, all the athletes are different. Yeah. I wouldn't risk something. Stick with the carbs that you normally eat. Yeah. You know, you're not going to oh, shock the body. And every shock can be either good or bad. Like you said, yeah. uh, two out of five times that you did uh, junk food uh, it's probably, went it's well. Pro probably more like one out of five, really, if I'm really honest with myself. <laughs> I, I tell you this one, okay. If you follow my uh, career, 1999. Mm. I didn't even supposed to compete, but then I said, okay, I was in shape. So I decided to enter uh, Canada Pro Cup like on a week notice. And I was actually second to uh, Jablonitsky mm -hmm. and uh, Pavel. And then I, I was going to go to another champions, but everybody was coming. Paul Dillette and Marcus Rule and uh, uh, there was Jablonitsky, Dexter Jackson. There was like so many guys. Mm -hmm. She's like, you know what? I never did this shit loading. So I'm going to just like load up like uh, eat until I, I can't even breathe anymore yeah <laughs> oh my god let me tell you this is a, that's why when you feel heat is gonna be looking for the pictures of my blow the stomach that's the only time in my life <laughs> <Billy>. <laughs> go on <laughs> phil i'll find the pictures i'll send them to you mate don't worry and i was off i mean i was soft and watery you know like I, I, of course whoa, 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 know, whoa. yeah so to, to tell the truth yeah that's so this is one of those stupid things Milos? why risk I know, I know, I know. I, 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 it's one of those things. It's just that the mentality. You're last minute, and you wanna, you just wanna try anything. Um, uh, Derek, Derek Clark, our sound technician. He's been following some of your protocols, and he's, um, he's about what are you about two fifty at the moment, Derek? Yeah, 110. He's one hundred and ten kilo, five foot seven, and, and he walked in a few weeks ago, and me and Carly had to take like a second take. What have you been doing? He says, Giles, I've been following some of Milos's after he came on the show last time. I've been following some of his protocols, so he's training twice a day at the moment. Um, it's going really well, isn't it? It's going pretty well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so he's been doing your um, your pre, intra, and post workout, the high creatine, high, was it everything else? What was it? Glutamine. Glutamine. BCA. BCA. So he's been following all that, and he's really, he's really, he's like, uh, so I think we want to get him back on stage again because he, he actually competed against Dennis James at the Universe in the mid 90s. Yes, absolutely. Look so, at that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, and. Uh, but, uh, first he had that drive, but I, I'm just going to tell you this, okay, honestly, and this is for anybody that is looking. Many people overlook the, the truth of, oh, no, I'm, I'm doing good. I'm doing okay, but are you doing everything maximally? Yeah. Is a, a maximal nutrition. What does it mean, maximal? Okay, I, I eat a lot, eh? but uh, could you do more? You know, so you... you, you uh, inspect what you expect for one week okay he is growing which is great mm -hmm. but uh uh what happened if i add another 20 30 grams of carbs in this meal and in in the inter-workout or post-workout yeah. you know so the hardest thing for me was to uh, in the whole career to force feed myself i was not even hung i, I look at that food i didn't want to eat it but i know shit i'm gonna compete with ronnie and nasser and all these guys i have to eat yeah and I, you know so <laughs> As long if you are lean, if you're lean, you know, push the calories up, push the calories up. You see, Chad Nichols and some uh, other guys, uh, they would give their guys in off season just eat calories, calories, calories. Again, you know, just like a junk food that you have in uh, 
pre-contest uh, preload. I don't agree with it. Give calories, but good calories only. Mm. Because your health should be number one priority anyway, right? Yeah, yeah. If I, give you, totally agree. If I give you junk, 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 how is this going to reflect to your mm. physique and your health and uh, uh, appearance and, and your feeling? Why junk? Just mm. have a shitload of good food mm -hmm. that you can digest, assimilate, right? But then push the envelope, right? Mm. And I know that uh, uh, Derek is now growing, okay? Mm -hmm. And probably maybe he's already there, but see, are you really maxed out or you can push the envelope even extra protein shake? What do you think, Derek? Uh, I think this back in the day. He's not maxing out. He says he can do more. He can get to 115 kilos. You just need to okay. fine tune. Yeah. You know, so, so, so here is again, this is typical life situation. Now, athlete is telling me I'm not maxing out. So my question is why? You don't want to max my results? It's the same as uh, when the intelligent guy come to me and say, oh, Bimosh, I know I'm doing it wrong. I turn around and leave. I say, what do you want me to answer? You know you're doing it wrong, right? Mm. So do it right. Okay, that's for the you know normal situations. But now for the bodybuilders, you want maximal results? You need to push everything. Analyze, be honest with yourself. Nutrition, okay, this is lacking. Supplementation, oh, this is lacking. Oh, I don't even take supplements. Are you maximizing? You're not. So once you become true to yourself, you know, then, uh, like I say, every stone is unturned. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is how I go with everybody. And